How important is it to have a mentor when you're learning to code? Okay, guys, this is the video that we're going to be talking about. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. And yeah, let's get started, guys. So when you're learning how to code, most likely you have no idea on what career path you should take, right? What courses you should learn? Uh, what are the skills that you should really focus on, right, as a new developer? And what the job actually requires from you and like what type of skills like you should actually like completely focus on. Most likely you're not going to know these things. OK, yes, there's a couple of good resources online, maybe like a YouTube video that talks about some of these things or maybe a blog. Um, but in reality, you kind of want to have somebody that's been there and that can guide you through this whole career path. OK, and help you get into the game. Now, you can definitely try to do this on your own, but this is where you got to think about it like this. When you have a mentor, the point of the mentor is to save you time. Yes, you can do this on your own, but if you want to expedite your journey, having a mentor is the key to it, okay? Because they've been there before. They've done exactly what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. They already done it, Okay. And they can most likely give you some tips and some pointers on mistakes that they did and mistakes that they see other people uh, that have gone through the same journey as you. And they can save you that time because, you know, yes, you can do this on your own, but you're going to make mistakes. You're going to learn the wrong things. You're going to focus on the wrong things that you need to be focusing on. You're going to learn skills that are not relevant to you as a beginner, right? Sometimes people uh, don't want to talk about this, but not every single skill is, should be learned because guess what? I'll give you an example. Like sometimes people want to go in and, and learn super advanced courses when they never even worked in the industry and they don't even understand that when you're learning more advanced things like topics or more complex uh, topics that might be out there, you're not going to be touching that. Till probably like your third, fourth, fifth year. Like, for example, like sometimes people be trying to figure out how can I have a, a million users concurrently and, and how should I be using AWS with this and DigitalOcean for that? Or should I be, you know, working on this uh, language because I want to be able to scale and future proof and this, this and that. And in reality, it's like, yo, when you're a beginner, that's not your job position. Like you're not gonna go into a company and the company is gonna say well guys you know we're gonna leave the infrastructure to the new guy nah you're gonna say like no one's gonna do that right so again a mentor can tell you that and tell you hey man this is what you're actually gonna be doing on the job on day one this is what is expected of you and this is what you're going to be doing on this career path. If you're going to become a front-end developer, this is what a front-end developer is going to be doing on his first three, six months as a new developer. If you are a back-end developer, this is what you're going to be doing in your first three to six months. You get what I'm saying? So going in and learning things that might be more advanced is not going to help you out. You're actually wasting time, right? A mentor can tell you that, right? Um, having somebody that you can ask questions and be like, Hey, uh, what do you think about this project? Should I be focusing on this project? That mentor can tell you, Hey, this is a good project. This is a bad project. What do you think about this resources, right? This resource is good. This resource is, eh, you get what I'm saying? Because they already been through it and most likely they already made those mistakes. So now they're teaching you of their mistakes, right? I mean, this is like what I do on codingface.com, right? Um, again, you know, we have a great service there where we have all the courses that you pretty much need for becoming a front end developer, full stack developer, right? Shopify theme developer, etc., and a whole bunch of other career paths. Um, and we basically try to give you that guidance and teach you everything that you need uh, in there so you can go in and expedite your journey. You don't have to waste time and be like, man, I'm choosing which instructor should I go? Should, which courses should I take? Like that, nah, everything's already laid out for you. And then from there, as you're building your projects, we help you out with your portfolio. We help you out 
with reviewing your projects, et cetera, right? Sometimes even look at some resumes to help you out even on that, right? So again, even like today, today we have, today's Monday, October 17, uh, 2022, right? And we have accountability meetings every single Monday where you can come in, show us your, your project, show us what you have. And if you have questions, I go in and I answer your questions and I help you out, right? That's what it is to have a mentor, right? A service like that. Now you can also go in and try to get a, a mentor for free, right? You can reach out to people that you can see that have gone through the same things that you have gone through, right? Or they're already working as developers and you can reach out to them and say, hey man, you know, I'm looking for a mentor. I'm looking for somebody to help me out on my journey and you could find them. But I tell you this, like sometimes uh, going to somebody and telling them, hey man, I would like you to give me one hour of your time per week or two hours per week, right? Most people, they're not trying to commit. <laughs> they're not trying to go in there and commit, you know, especially for free. People got shit to do. You know, they got families, they got their own lives that they got to live and, and they got to go in and, and do that for you. Like it's very rare that you're going to find that. Now, can you find it? Yes. But I always tell people, come in with some money in your hand or come in with some type of service that you can do for that individual. So for example, if let's say uh, it's the person is an instructor, right? Tell them, hey, I will help you out with some landing pages or hey, I actually do marketing. So I'm trying to now go into the world development. I can help you out with your marketing. Hey, I do SEO. I can help you out with your SEO, like trade something, trade your time for their time, right? Like provide them with that or just straight up, just come with some money in your hand, right? And, and you might say, well, man, I got to pay for somebody's time. Yeah, you got to pay for somebody's time. That's just how life is, right? It's like when you go to a club, right? You could wait on the line and wait until everybody uh, decides to, you know, let you in and everybody that's in front of you gets in, etc. Or you could come to the bouncer and be like, yo, man, I got a hundred dollars for you, bro. What you want to do, right? And the bouncer's going to open up the door. He's like, yo, he's like, hey, man, this is the, the, the owner's son. And then he lets you in, right? In life, that's just how it is. You know, you're going to have to pay for things, right? And, and, you know, it sucks when you don't have it, right? And you might say, damn, why are people getting ahead of me or this, this, and that? Guess what? Most likely they pay for it. Most likely they pay for a service. Most likely they pay for somebody's time, right? And, and that's just how it is. That's why it's so important to, you know, always have some money in your pocket. I know people are trying to become developers, right? Uh, but that don't mean that you need to be broke. You need to work, right? I'll give you a great example. Like when I was like learning how to code, I had quit my job and there was a point where I had no more savings and I was literally on Craigslist, on freaking eBay, like selling items online to maintain myself and to be able to pay for all the services and the online courses that I was taking and buying new computers and, you know, paying for the internet and paying for my phone to stay connected, even though I didn't have no job. I made it happen, right? So again, um, this is something that you can't avoid, right? Um, especially if you want to get to places like, that's just how it is. At some point, you're going to have to invest in yourself because if you don't invest in yourself, who's going to invest in you, okay? Um, but yeah, as far as like mentorship, like it's very important, bro. Like I'm telling you right now, like having that guidance and having somebody that can help you out, answer your emails, answer uh, maybe your uh, your phone calls, right? Like that's very key for your success and to expedite it. Because again, I keep saying this, you can definitely do it on your own. It just takes longer because you're going to have to make mistakes. Now, if you have somebody that's there telling you, hey, this is a mistake, don't do this. And you follow their guidance. Guess what? Now, what was going to take you a year, you could probably do it in three to four months because now you're basically uh, learning something that's targeted to the career that you're going for, for the job that you're going for, right? Um, and, and that person is guiding you and letting you know exactly what you need to do so you don't make no mistakes. So the time that you was going to waste make, making mistakes, now you're not wasting it. You get what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that's where I always tell people like, yo, what is your time really worth, Right? Do you want this to be a year journey? Do you want this to be a two-year journey? Do you want this to be a four-year journey? I've seen 
people in the comment section just the other day, I saw somebody talking about, hey, man, I wish somebody would have told me this in 2015. And I put a comment under it. It's like, yo, so, uh, I mean, it's fine. You know, don't look back on it. I mean, if you're working now and everything is good, and he's like, nah, I'm still looking for a job. I'm still, I'm like, hold on, we in 2022, bro. You're telling me you're on a seven-year journey? Right? I was like, bro, you need to holler at me, man. Like, you need to holler at me. Let me help you out, bro. Because <laughs> you, whatever you're doing, you're doing it wrong. Right? And he was telling me, yeah, man, I was doing game development. Then from game development, I decided to go into IT. I wanted to learn more about DevOps. I thought it was going to be easier. And then I started learning more about, uh, you know, embedded applications. And then now I'm doing web development. I'm like, bro, just because some of these things is like with a computer or like programming, like, yo, they're completely different things. If you would have had a mentor, you would have had somebody there. Right. They would have told you that a long time ago. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why having a mentor is important, man. You know, before, you know, I didn't think that it was because, again, I did it by myself. Right. I did it by myself and, you know, with no guidance. Right. And even till now, like I still I don't have a, like a, a legit mentor that I could say, hey, man, uh, whenever I'm hitting certain points in my career or in my business, I can call and, and reach out to them, et cetera, right? I don't really have that person either. So, you know, this whole journey that has taken me 10 years to get to where I'm at right now, I've done it by myself. But I've realized, you know, from the things that I've helped my own students and the people that are around me, that I give them tips on things on, like, for the career and so they don't make the same mistakes as, as me, I see them now and I'm like, shoot, bro, like, they're getting to like positions and they're getting to, you, you know, even income level and opportunities. What took me like seven years, they're doing it in like two years. And I'm like, what's the difference? Is it that, you know, now the game is, is different. Companies are paying more. And it's like, nah, it's like they had the guidance. They had me. I ain't had nobody to tell me, hey, man, don't do this. Don't do that. And then, you know, so whatever took me like seven years to, to accomplish overall in my career and just income level and everything, if I would have had somebody that told me, yo, Joe, you need to focus on, you know, on this type of skills, you need to be focusing on, on making income with this, or you need to start selling your own digital products. Like if I would have had all of that, bro, shoot, who knows where I would be at right now? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got 10 years in the game, but with no guidance so then now the people that i help out right i'm teaching them of the mistakes that i made back then and now is i'm seeing like the results of like people coming in and like by them avoiding those mistakes and focusing strictly on, on certain skills in their careers and you know making money online etc i'm seeing the results that they're getting i mean shout out to my boy omar suriel you know one thing that was very interesting, and I always bring him up because even for me, like I didn't get my house till like what two years ago, uh, you, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, right? Just because I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to buy a house, whatever. But I look at him, I remember in 2017, he was coming around just asking, he was doing like pizza deliveries, and he was just asking, like, yo, what should I learn? And by me telling him, hey, focus on this, focus on React. Right, which at the time had a lot of opportunities. Learn JavaScript through here. Learn on this this platform, etc. He came in. He hit the ground running, quick. Right. Right now, I think he's like on his third or fourth house that he owns. Like, and he's also too like now he. I think he's like a a boot camp instructor, and it's like yo, shit is crazy. A lot of the shit that took me, you know, x amount of years to do. He came in and did it like two years. And I believe, you know, having like that mentorship and just having that guidance and, and like people letting you know, like, hey, you should do this, you should do that. It just saves you so much time. It makes your, your life much easier in this journey as a developer, um, way easier than, you know, than most people. So again, having a mentor is important and can definitely save you a lot of time. 
All right, guys. So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingpace.com. Um, if you guys are interested in learning how to code, if you're interested in having a mentor, having somebody that can help you out uh, on this journey, definitely check out the links below. I got a couple of links in there. I have one link, which is going to give you 20% off everything on codingface.com. And then another link, which is going to basically bring you to a free training for the tech accelerator. If you're interested in that, where we basically guide you to help you get into the game as soon as possible, doing content uh, editing and also to HTML email development, which are like the hottest things right now that nobody's talking about. Right. And at the end of the day, that's something that's, that's important because, you know, if there's a demand for it and there's not enough people doing it, guess what? It's much easier for you to get into the game doing those things. And they count as experience. Plus, you're putting money in your pocket while you continue to learn more about the front end and you continue to learn more about the back end. All right. So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. I'll see you guys later. Peace, guys.